بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ السلام علیکم ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو آن پیج نمبر 11 وچ از ریلیشن بٹوین ویلوسٹی دی فریکوینسی اینڈ دی ویو لینتھ تو وی وی لیفٹ دس ایٹ دس پوائنٹ ان مائی لاسٹ لیکچر ٹوڈے دی لیکچر از ریلیشن بٹوین ویلوسٹی فریکوینسی اینڈ ویو لینتھ This is uh, on page number 11 of your textbook. Wave is the disturbance in the, I told you already, wave is the disturbance in the medium which travel from one place to another and hence it has velocity. Since wave, wave is the disturbance in the medium, so it is traveling from one point to another. And if it is traveling from one point, uh, one point to another, it must have a velocity of traveling. Suppose, Uh, the velocity velocity you know the definition of velocity as we have uh, done in our ninth class velocity is defined as distance divided by time so velocity is denoted with letter v small v and distance is denoted with the letter small d and time is uh, taken as small t so velocity is defined as distance divided by time so if if time taken by by wave in moving from one point to another then and other then t will be replaced then our small t uh, small t will be replaced with capital t because in wave we have we have time period as we have discussed wave has amplitude wave has time period and time period is denoted with letter uh, capital t and it has wavelength uh, as i have told you in my earlier lecture what is wavelength what is time period we we have done this uh, before so if we t if we take t is equal to capital t and distance covered by the wave and the distance is equal to uh, wavelength which is the greek letter uh, lambda we denoted with the greek letter uh, lambda if we put this values in our equation number equation number 1 so what will uh, this equation number this is equation number 1 if we substitute t is equal to capital t and d is equal to lambda in equation number 1 so our uh, next equation will be v is equal to lambda by lambda by t so d is replaced with lambda and t is replaced with capital t so as we know that uh, time period there is a relation between Uh, time period and frequency which is reciprocal relation so time period is inversely proportional to frequency and frequency is inversely proportional to uh, time period and time period is equal to 1 over f so if we uh, if we substitute v is equal to lambda by t so lambda 1 by t is replaced with uh, 1 by t is replaced with f so our this equation becomes v is equal to f lambda where f is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength so i repeat it again for you wave is the disturbance we are find we are going to find a very important relation this relation v is equal to f times lambda where f is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength what is the relation between velocity frequency and wavelength wave is since i we know that wave is a disturbance in the medium which travel from one place to another hence it has a velocity of travel suppose uh, as we discussed earlier that when we uh, dip the pencil in a in a tub what will happen uh, the pencil is the disturbance it creates a uh, disturbance or in in the medium and it will generate the waves so since it is a wave so wave uh, must have a velocity uh, based uh, because this wave is traveling from one place to another place so it must have a velocity so we we have done this relation velocity uh, is equal to distance divided by time because in ninth class we have studied the definition of velocity velocity is defined distance divided by time or or uh, we can say uh, displacement divided by time since if it is in a uh, if it is in a uh, uh, particular direction then distance is replaced with displacement and displacement is noted with the letter 
d and time is denoted with the letter small d so our velocity velocity will be d by d if time uh, time taken by the wave in moving from one point to another so t will be replaced with capital d because in when we consider the wave uh, it have time period it has amplitude and it has wavelength so our time our time in this equation will be replaced with the capital d uh, which is the time period of the wave and distance covered by the wave since lambda is also the distance so distance is replaced with the uh, lambda letter which is the greek letter so our so say this is the equation number say this is our equation number 1 we we substitute t small t with capital t and uh, small d with lambda in our equation number 1 so our equation number 1 then will become v is equal to d is replaced with lambda and small t will be replaced with capital t so v equals to lambda by t since we know that there is a one there is a inverse proportion uh, between frequency and the time period so there is a t is equal to 1 over f so time period is inversely proportional to uh, frequency it's mean if frequency if frequency frequency decreases the time period will increase if frequency increases the time period will decrease so there is a inverse proportion exists between time period and uh, frequency so we substitute time period is equal to 1 over f in this equation so uh, our new equation becomes v is equal to f times lambda where f is the frequency and lambda, and lambda is the and, and, and our velocity of the wave comes product of frequency this is the multiple taken product of frequency and the wave so we know move towards our next topic uh, which is uh, ripple tank Ripple tank. Uh, before doing this, we solve the numerical. We solve the numerical, which is on page number twelve. I read the numerical for you. A wave moves on slinky with the the frequency of four hertz, and the wavelength is zero point four meter. What is the speed of the wave? We just uh, discuss the formula. V is equal to f lambda. We will apply the same formula uh, in this numerical. frequency is denoted with a given data uh, i i am going to write given data so given data is frequency frequency is equal to 4 lambda what we need to find out in this equation uh, to find v we need to find out v in this uh, v so it is a little bit mistake uh, i am going to rectify it question mark so we need to find out this one this is our solution uh, this uh, is our solution heading so this will be our solution here uh, question mark so in this uh, numerical what we need to find out frequencies is given you know the unit of frequency is hertz and unit of the distance which is lambda or wavelength is 0.4 meter since the wavelength is a distance so distance unit of distance is meter in as a unit of distance is meter so frequency is 4 hertz and wavelength is 0.4 to find in this equation what is the speed of the wave so speed of the wave is denoted with the letter v we will we will substitute this formula v is equal to f lambda v is equal to f lambda just plug in the values value of f is 4 hertz frequency is 4 hertz and value of the lambda or distance 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 wavelength is 0.4 if we multiply this we will get 1.6 and the unit of velocity is meter per second this is the end of the numerical we related to uh, this topic uh, v is equal to f lambda we i use this equation to solve the uh, numerical this is my end of the numerical uh, uh, example 10.2 on page number 12 of your 10th class textbook now we start the uh, ripple tank what is actually the ripple tank ripple tank uh, ripple tank 
uh, is a device to produce water waves and to study their characteristic what does this mean uh, this this is a device uh, which is uh, which is which produces a water wave and uh, then we study the characteristic of uh, these waves um, with the help of a ripple tank so you can you can buy this uh, ripple tank from the market and uh, it cost about around 2500 to 3000 rupees so this is a device uh, which is used to uh, produce the water wave it will first generate the water wave and with the and then when the water wave has been generated then uh, we study their uh, characteristics so you got to know this is very important device which is used to study the uh, water waves and it is on page number uh, 12 of your 10th class textbook what is this this operators this operators uh, actually uh, sorry yes this operators the this operators consists of a rectangular tray having glass bottom and is placed nearly half meter above the surface of table if you uh, open up your book uh, textbook page number 12 you will clearly find the image of uh, this uh, ripple tank uh, in figure 10 point talking about figure 10.11 uh, this is the apparatus uh, ripple tank apparatus this is called ripple tank apparatus but it consists of a rectangular tray uh, it's, it's like a table uh, and little bit shallow where we put the water in uh, the apparatus consists of a rectangular tray having glass bottom and is placed nearly half meter above the surface of the table but what we do waves can be produced on the surface of water present in the tray by means of the vibrator how can we produce the uh, wave um, on, on the surface of water we, we we fill the water we fill the tray glass tray with the water and there is a on the surface of the water we have a we have a vibrator which is on the which is attached on the wooden uh, wooden uh, wooden box uh, what will happen if we uh, if we if the vibrator is an uh, what is vibrator vibrator is an oscillating electric motor fixed on the wooden plate over the tray such that lower surface just touches the surface of water what will happen we we turn the supply on uh, of the vibrator and since vibrator is attached on the surface of uh, water when the once the power supply is on it will start vibrating and it will generate the water wave on the uh, surface of water so what will happen on uh, setting the vibrator on this wooden plate start vibrating to generate water waves water wave produce on a wave pattern can be viewed uh, on viewing screen under the table so we can see the wave pattern we, actually there is a bulb attached or uh, on the top of the uh, this uh, rectangular tray so what will happen when the vibrator generates the water waves these these pattern the wave pattern can be viewed underneath the table uh, if you look at the table, uh, you will see wave pattern on the viewing screen. So wave will produce, and we can see uh, wave, waves are producing underneath the table. So so these waves have I know the if since it is a wave, so wave has two things. One is crest, and the and the one is the truss. So the crest is basically the top part of the. Of the wave is called uh, crest and the bottom part of the wave is called up as we have already discussed in our early lecture what is crest and what is truss. the upper portion of the wave is called crest and while the lower portion of the wave is called a truss of the wave appears So this one, so this will, 
appear as bright so crest and trough the crest our crest will be of color bright color and our dry trough is uh, of color uh, will be produce of dark lines you can see uh, on page number 12 of your textbook uh, the crest will be of color bright and the trough will be of the dark lines so <clears throat> next what will happen so our vibratory is an oscillating electric motor i repeat it for you again the ripple tank uh, is uh, uh, on page number 12 of your textbook ripple tank is a device this is a sort of some sort of device which is used to produce water waves and to and to study their uh, characteristic so it it will produce uh, water waves and uh, when the once the water wave is produced we with the help of water wave we can study their characteristic this uh, this type of instrument uh, is available in the market so apparatus what is uh, actually the composition of apparatus the apparatus consists of a rectangular tray having glass bottom and is placed nearly half meter above the surface of table this uh, apparatus uh, is is actually consisting of rectangular tray and in rectangular tray uh, we uh, fill the water in uh, fill the water in once the water is filled in then uh, there is a vibrator wave can be produced on the surface of water present in the tray by means of the vibrator so what will be the vibrator do vibrator is actually the oscillating electric motor on the uh, on the tray wooden plate uh, wooden plate there is an uh, electric motor is attached once this electric motor is attached with the power supply uh, and it will turns on uh, it will because this this uh, wooden plate is uh, just uh, touching the water surface of the water once the supply is on what uh, electric supply is on then it will start vibrating and with the uh, once the vibration start it will produce the <coughs> uh, water uh, waves on it will produce a wave the on the vibrator one the once once uh, once vibrator once setting the vibrator on this wooden plate start vibrating to generate water it will produce the water wave this is our target we want to produce the water wave wave the pattern uh, because on on the front on the top of the uh, this tray and bulb is attached uh, what will happen when the vibrator will produce the water waves we can see the uh, water waves producing underneath the table uh, wave pattern can be viewed on the viewing screen under the table the crest so since these these are the water waves so wave consists of you know the wave consists of the crest and the trough so crest is basically the top part of the uh, top uh, part of the wave while trough is the lower part of the waves uh, lower part of the wave so uh, once the water wave produce the crest will appear as bright color crests will be appear as bright color while trough will be appear as uh, dark color dark lines right on the screen respectively so student in uh, apart from this uh, you will <coughs> if you look at the uh, blue definition uh, on page number uh, 13 what will happen uh, we will uh, we will study the phenomena of angle of reflection uh, what is the angle of reflection when waves moving in the medium fall on the surface of and i am talking about page number 13 the blue box when moving uh, when moving uh, when waves moving in the medium fall on the surface of another medium uh, they bounce back into the first medium such that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so how will i uh, explain you this uh, this thing uh, if i take a new slide and use the tools uh, if i use the tool insert shapes and this one so what will happen if i place the line over here so i am going to explain you the angle of reflection what is the angle of reflection this is the medium 
So it has uh, one is called incidence incidence rate, and other one is called uh, reflected rate. Reflected, reflected rate. So the, I'm going to explain you the phenomena of angle of reflection. Mm -hmm. Angle of reflection is basically so there are the two waves. One is incident incident ray, and this is reflected ray. So what is happening here? When the incident ray, this is the incident ray, right? This is the incident ray. When the incident ray strikes over the medium, and it will so this wave is coming from the air. So and it after reflecting this, after colliding this this surface, the the line will <coughs> the ray will reflected and it will reflect in the same path or in the air so in this case this angle of reflection this angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection this is called uh, angle of reflection so when a movie when waves uh, when waves are moving in one medium fall on the surface of another medium they bounce back into the first medium. So which is one, our, this is our first medium. So it is bouncing back again into the first medium again. It is not going this way. It is not going this way. It is on, only going uh, the same uh, where it is coming from. So it is coming from air and it is going back to the air again. So if I uh, consider the text, so, our this is incident rate. This is incident incident rate. So what will happen if I so If 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 this one is if I consider again uh, insert text box and this will be my reflected ray. Reflected reflected ray. So this is the medium where the ray is striking. So the angle made by the incident ray is called uh, incident angle. Or it is denoted with the letter I, and the angle uh, once this ray strikes over this medium, it will bounce back to the same medium, first medium, first medium again. Suppose this is um, this is coming from air. This is coming from air, and <coughs> and it is also. Yeah. So our medium is this is coming from incident ray is uh, after striking this it is bound bounce back to the same medium again. Air it is going to the it's coming from air and it is not passing through this it is going back to the same medium again. This phenomena where angle of incidence this angle this this angle will be called angle of incidence this angle will be called angle of uh, reflected reflection so angle of where angle of incidence equals to angle of ref reflection so the this is equal to angle of reflection so this is the phenomena of angle of reflection but if i talk about another medium which is called angle of reflection uh, this is in this case angle of incidence uh, if I take the slide in the textbook, angle, angle, angle of, angle of incidence, uh, it is denoted with letter I equals to, it, it is this one, this angle, angle of incidence, and it is equals to angle, angle of incidence. This one is angle of incidence. If take this is angle of incidence, uh, I I do this again. 
If I take the other slide, what will happen? Uh, angle of incidence. Uh, angle of incidence is noted with the I equals to angle of uh, refraction. Angle of uh, angle of uh, angle of refraction. So when the light is coming from uh, coming from this medium, and when the light is coming from air and it's going back to the air again. This phenomena is called in this in this case angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection. This angle is called this angle is noted with R and this angle is noted with I. So angle of incidence equals to angle of incidence equals to angle of reflection. So now we consider the other thing, uh, angle of refraction. What will happen? <coughs> uh, the the line will if I remove this line. If I remove this line, and what will happen? This is incident ray, and after, and this is another medium. There are the two medium. One one medium is air, and uh, air, and the uh, and the line is, and the incident ray is passing coming from air, and it going to the other medium. Such like, uh, if I take a design, no problem design shapes. If I go to the shape, what will happen? So this one, angle of uh, this one. So the light is uh, basically, this is my uh, line, this line, okay? So this is a uh, uh, 90 degree angle. Uh, you can say normal, this is the normal what is happening uh, the medium in this case i am now talking about angle of refraction not angle of incidence and then angle of refraction i am talking about angle of refraction not reflection so what is happening in the angle of refraction so we have uh, two angles the ray is coming from air and it is passing through other medium or say this is a glass medium so if i take this one and glass this is a glass medium. This is my glass medium. There are the two medium. In the angle of refraction, I'm talking about angle, uh, angle of refraction, not reflection. This is angle of refraction. So what is the angle of refraction? There is an incident ray, and uh, it is passing through the other medium, glass, and it is bending towards the normal. It is bending towards the, it is bending towards the normal. So in this case, angle of incidence is not equal to angle of refraction. So this is, uh, this is called the phenomena of angle of refraction. So in this angle of refraction, we have two medium. One is air, the other is, uh, other is glass. And when the, uh, what will happen now uh, when they will emit from when this ray will emit from this uh, this glass medium so it will bend away from the normal it will bend away from the uh, away from the normal this is this one and when it uh, it will emit from glass to air again this is air one this one this bottom one is called air so what will happen it will uh, move away from the normal such like this this is moved away from the normal line look uh, so this phenomena is called angle of refraction so we have two medium so once the uh, once this one uh, is coming out uh, from glass and going back to the air again so it will bend away from the away from the normal such that this angle uh, this this angle angle of incidence and this angle will be equal but this angle the angle with this and this is the r not equal so this is my end of uh, the topic uh, paper time
So I hope you understand. If you have any question, uh, please let me know.